The communication protocol test harness includes a protocol analyzer which is useful for monitoring communications. The protocol analyzer display contains a number of filters to make it easier to see exactly the data you're looking for. For example, we can filter by protocol layer. Here we see the application layer is turned on. We can turn on the transport layer. If you notice the little key here, application layer messages are preceded by equal signs to transport by the little tildes. So when I turned on transport, those became available. When I turn on data link, we'll see the data link layer with the dashed lines. We can turn the filters back off and they're removed from the display. Likewise, we can filter by data. So here is a piece of event data. If I turn off the filter for event data, that data is no longer displayed. Can also filter out errors and timestamps and target layer messages. We can also fully customize the colors and fonts displayed in the test harness. Here we have the protocol output formatter. Notice by default errors are red and received security messages are blue and transmitted security messages are green. But we can customize this any way we want. For example, we can customize received application messages. Let's use black text on a gold background. Let's make that italic and let's indent it a little bit. Then we can modify our transmit. Let's make this gold text on a black background. And that gold doesn't show up real well, so let's bold it. Let's indent this also. And then I could format any of these layers that I want, but let's just do this for now. And here we see our application layer messages are now formatted as I just showed. Now I'm going to configure my master to start polling. I'm simulating an outstation here. I'm going to turn on polling from the master. So every two seconds we see a new poll come in and we see the, the protocol analyzer buffer scroll. Now I can pause this display and I can scroll back and see previous data and I can change the filter layers in the paused output. So if I see an event I want to study in more detail I can pause the analyzer display, find that event and then turn on additional filtering or turn off additional filtering to make it easier to analyze that data. Now another really nice feature of the test harness is the ability to save these protocol analyzer logs for future analysis. To do that, we just go to File, Save Protocol Analyzer Log as XML. Select the file name. I'll overwrite the file I had there. So then I can come to the test harness later and open that saved log. This opens a new protocol log viewer and I can see all of that saved data. I can also change the filtering in the saved data. So for example, I can turn on the transport layer and turn on the data link layer. This is very, very useful during testing. You can save off your protocol analyzer logs and then later go to your desk and review the logs in detail to make sure things are operating as you expect them to. And one other nice feature of the protocol analyzer is the ability to parse a set of bytes that were captured by some other means. To do this, we need to open a monitor channel. Open DNP monitor. And we want to select raw input bytes for the channel type. 
and now we can paste those bytes in and they will be decoded in the protocol analyzer. So this is decoding of this set of raw bytes. So as you can see, the communication protocol test harness offers a number of nice features with the protocol analyzer log, allowing you to capture real-time data, pause that data and view it, change the way the data are displayed, both with filters and color and formatting changes, and also the ability to save and restore logs, as well as to decode bytes that were captured outside the test harness.